assalamu alaikum students this is the question from today's online session this is the last question in which we were asked to find the total surface area of a rectangular base pyramid i am sharing this question so that you can check your working uh, in this question we are asked to find the total surface area and we discussed in our online session that in order to find the total surface area we need two things first thing is the dimensions of the base and the second thing is the slant height in this question only true vertical height has been given to us so we will start off with finding the slant height since it is a rectangle based pyramid so there will be two slant heights so we have to find two slant heights in order to find two slant heights we discussed that we have to make two right angle triangles inside the pyramid so this is uh, the two right angle triangles which was uh, which i was talking about in the session uh, this is the first right angle triangle this is my true vertical height that is equals to 15 feet and since uh, this is the triangle so i draw a slant height and made a right angle triangle this is my triangle number 1 and this is my triangle number 2 because i told you that the uh, uh, so the opposite triangles are identical so this triangle and the triangle which is at the back will be identical and this triangle and the triangle will be at the back will be identical to each other so there will be only two slant heights so for this i know this is a right angle triangle and the value of perpendicular is 15 but uh, the base the problem is with the base i have to find the value of hypotenuse the base is uh, is the half of this length because i have to find this distance and since this distance is 9 feet and i know that this is a right pyramid so this the distance from the center to the corner will be half of 9 that is 9 divided by 2 so my answer will be 4.5 so my base is 4.5 and the total perpendicular is 15 i have used pythagoras theorem to find the slant height number 2 uh, for this triangle and that is equals to 15.66 feet and uh, talking about this triangle triangle number 1 uh, we have our base as this and since this side is 7 so this will be half of 7 so i have taken it as 3.5 and on applying pythagoras theorem my second slant height is 15.4 feet since this is triangle number 2 on making the net diagram this will lie on this side so i have labeled it at 15.66 and this is 15.4 if this is 15.4 this will also be 15.4 if this is 15.66 this will also be 15.66 and the trick and the trick which i discussed with you was that the greater side will get the smaller value of the slant height this is 9 and this is 7 this side is greater so it will get the smaller length of slant height the smaller length is 15.4 so it will get 15.4 this is smaller so it will get a larger value of slant height so this is a very important concept because you will use that in solving questions of exercise 12a so after drawing the net diagram i have find uh, i have found the area of triangle number 1 as half base into height this is my base this is my height and the area is 69.3 triangle number 1 triangle number 2 has a area of 54.81 half into base into height this is the base which is equals to 7 and the height is 15.66 and uh, third thing is the rectangle rectangle has an area of length multiplied by width 9 multiplied by 7 equals to 63 since i have two identical triangles so i will multiply this by 2 and this by 2 in order to get the total surface area so total surface area 2 times 69.3 since two triangles are identical and plus 2 times 54.81 plus 63 and it will give me an answer of 311.2 ft square since all the all the units are in ft so area will be in ft square so this is the total surface area of a rectangular pyramid you have to be sure that in order to find the total surface area we need slant heights if, if slant heights are not given we have to calculate them by using pythagoras theorem if this is a rectangular pyramid there will be two slant heights and we will uh, be uh, drawing two right angle triangles inside the pyramid to find out the slant heights we will use pythagoras theorem and then we will draw this net diagram we will properly label it and then we'll find the area and we'll add them to get the total surface area